What's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I'm gonna bring back the daily vlog today. You guys are gonna be following through my entire day today. The first thing we need to do today is get over to the shop and then I'll fill you in on what's going on for the rest of the day. So I wanted to answer something that I've seen quite a few comments about over the past couple weeks, uh, which is the status of the RX-8. Now, yes, this car is given away. So the new owner, his name is John, he's coming all the way from Vermont and we've been coordinating together. He's going to be coming out for the Tuner Evo show. That is at the end of February, February 24th in Los Angeles. If you guys are free in the Southern California area, if you want to come hang out at the throttle booth, uh, meet the whole team. I highly, highly recommend it. I'll put all the information for that in the description below, but I'm very excited to show this car to John. I know he's gonna be pumped, and uh, this that might be one of the last times you see the car on the channel. So hopefully that clears things up. The RX-8 is gone, but just remember, the VR4 is next, guys. We have a ton of stuff planned. I guess we should say what we just did. So, as you guys just saw, we picked up, whoa. Sounds like a school bus in here. Yeah, it's silent, so it has a dinger to let you know you're in uh, reverse. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. Anyways, uh, as you guys saw, we just loaded up a bunch of stuff from Harbor Freight. Now, we're kind of putting together, I would say, like a budget fab shop because we're gonna be making an exhaust with Eric today um, for the E36 M3. If you guys didn't see the PVC exhaust system, Go watch that video, I'll put a card up here. But um, we're actually gonna be doing a nice proper three inch exhaust, which stainless. is stainless. Stainless. Uh, so a huge thank you to Vibrant Performance for actually hooking us up with all of the materials. So they saw the build, uh, the Bad Apple build came out amazing. And uh, I'm very excited to be working with Eric, uh, just like Mickey did to make a really nice exhaust for this car. Now, since I've owned the car, it just had a Dynan axle back exhaust and then the, the loud valves two and a half inch exhaust cutout. So over five PSI, um, it would dump wide open, but we're gonna be doing a true exhaust now. And uh, I'm very excited to hear it. So we're back here at the shop and actually I forgot to not, not introduce Chris, but explain why Chris is down here. So two things, he's down here to uh, show us how to work these lights properly. And then he's also gonna be taking the VR4 headlights that we just had repaired uh, and maybe doing some, some custom work to those things. So what do you got over here? Uh, so we got the app. This is from our friends at XK Glow. It's my favorite company that makes all the cool color changing light app, all that. So we can actually change everything we want on the headlights just from their app. There's That's a bunch of so little, cool. little pre-saved things that we can do to it. And we can even save certain settings. We can make new ones, delete them. Anyway, point being, we can turn these things off or on. And then we also have a kill switch that's under the hood. So that's the main thing. I don't that's want the battery cool. to die again because of leaving these things on for four days. Yeah, by, by accident, we actually had them on and they were on for like six or, or actually, you know what? They were on overnight and then we came in in the morning and the car was dead. So now that we, we have to download the app, right? It's a yeah. free app. Free app, yep. Now we know how to do it. So we're not gonna kill the battery again. So <laughs> very, very cool. These are really trick. So this awesome. is actually, this is a crazy thing too. The app will let you do it where it's adjusted to volume, so voice. So if there's a song on in the background, it's gonna respond and you can actually set the sensitivity level. So if it's super loud music, you can actually just barely see it doing anything right here. Yeah. If I turn the sensitivity all the way up, it's just not even backing off. Anymore. Sure. So there's that and then there's even an accelerometer. So as I move this, It'll actually Whoa. change to Yeah, you can see things. it moving. That's so, so weird. We can go between any color options that we want, and then as we're moving it around, it'll do that. You can also put it to miles per hour. So if you want things to change, the faster you go, that would be the same. <laughs> Why would anyone want that? <laughs> because maybe you're just super rice boy. like. Uh, that's so and funny. And I'd, I'd be your biggest fan. That's so. cool, though. That is pretty trick. So yeah, once again. Rice boy! Rice boy! You can, Mickey. You can change how bright the headlights are by how fast you're going. Or your on your on your RX-7. Oh, and they don't know about that. I brought them. So yeah, we just need to download the app. So this. Oh, this is so ricey. This is based on it moving. 
And so Come what on, I was really? saying is miles per hour. But you can do it to voice too. So like if it's louder. Yeah. So. So yo. Oh my god. Yeah, that was too loud. Oh my god. Oh my. So you can set the sensitivity level so that if you want to scream and. Scream at the car. Shut up, car. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That's insane. How does it choose the color? It pulls right. up. You got all these different color palettes to choose from. You can make it's just as rice as you want to get. I'm a massive. <laughs> fan I mean, like, of can rice. we go like too fast, too furious? Dude, we rice can actually level. make it too fast, too, too furious. Like that stuff look kind of mellow compared to what's available now, just because it's easier. And the parts are actually really good. Back in the day, I used to roll up to college with my blue underglow neons, like glass tube. Yeah, I had hit a two. bump, they smash your piss. I had the first on mine. <laughs> yep. So how was that? <laughs> All right, so we're back here at the shop, and what do you know? Our friend Dan is actually here with Rob today, and guess what? Would you look at this fish tank? We're getting a fish tank, baby. This is sick. The nice black cabinet. Full salt water. Full salt water oh. reef tank going in. Full LED lighting. Ooh. We're ricing out our fish tank, boys. <laughs> so he's got that that real coral in there. It smells like the ocean. Stick your nose in there. Seriously. Does it? It smells like the ocean. <laughs> All right. It does. Damn. Dan, what do you got there, brother? A bunch of live ocean water from really? your shop. Yeah, yeah, it's all live. I pay a company to chuck it in. Inside? No, Laguna Beach. Oh, really? Hey, yeah. Can you get in trouble for Dan, ste stealing Beach water? The high rent, no, I can't afford Laguna Beach give you water. Salt water. So these guys are here, going to be setting this tank up. And then how long does it take to. With Acrimate? our system, Is I'll that... bring you stuff. I could bring you stuff tomorrow, but most likely Friday. So two okay. days. Okay. So fill it up with water today. Kind of let the system. Live rock, live sand. Okay. Natural I'll let you explain. <laughs> Uh, we'll let this thing kind of just sit here and acclimate for the next couple days and then Dan's gonna come back like with some fish. I'm very excited. We're, we're, about, we're getting upgraded here, boys. The OG hoodie right there. <laughs> All right, so these guys were in and out actually pretty quick. I'm, obviously, it's really cloudy right now because everything needs to settle. Um, but this will be a nice upgrade for the shop. A huge thank you to Dan from Shipwrecks Cove uh, for hooking us up with this awesome tank. What kind of fish are you choosing for this, Alex? Piranha. A piranha? No. <laughs> this is salt water. A shark, maybe? Okay, yeah, I, I think we can get some Nemos. I don't know if it's big enough for a shark, but... Either way, we'll fill you guys in in a couple days when we get that all squared away. All right guys, this exhaust is almost done. Now, if you wanna see the full detailed process of this exhaust, you're gonna to have to watch that video. Hopefully it's up, if it's up, I'm gonna put the card right here. If it's not up, then you're just gonna to have to wait. But just know the E36 finally has a proper exhaust. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Eric from Ilk Fab coming down, making the house call, vibrant performance and Lincoln Electric for providing us that awesome welder that Eric was using all day today. So I'm very excited. We are getting very close to finishing the E36. I gotta hit up Jordan tomorrow from RK Tunes. We have the rest of the 3M wrap that's coming in. We gotta redo the trunk. We have to do that front trim piece that's underneath the headlights and a couple other little miscellaneous things, but Woo! Yeah, baby. it's coming out good. I'm excited. guys it is 9 20 just pulled in to my house right now and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it's a little bit different than most of the videos we've been doing um and i hope it provided a little bit of insight of what goes on uh in the startup what goes on at throttle what goes on at the shop it's always fun there's always so much good stuff going on obviously with the addition of ricky brings a little bit more uh craziness to the shop which is awesome so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out on Instagram or via email. However, get a hold of me. I appreciate you guys for tuning in every day. If, I do, if we don't say that enough, thank you guys so much for your support, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, everything. That stuff means the world to us. We do read all of the comments. 
positive and negative. We read everything. We take everything to heart. So I hope you guys can see that. I look forward to meeting you guys in 2019 and as many events as we can. Which is real quick, if you're staying to the end, we will be at Tuner Evo on February 24th. So that's coming up in Los Angeles. Um, and we'll be rolling out a 2019 calendar for everyone. Um, so hopefully we come to your local area and we can meet up and hang out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Peace out. We'll see you in the next video.